Correct me if I'm wrong, that you have never held anybody against their will. I don't need to. That, Why would I? Well, I'm, I'm How stupid would it never be held for anybody. R. Kelly with all I've been through in my way, way past to hold somebody, let alone four, five, six, fifty, you said. Why, how stupid would I be to do that? I didn't say you That's were holding. That's stupid, guys. I didn't Is this camera on me? <laughs> yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. County prosecutors dropping state charges against singer R. Kelly. Jim and Erica, exactly. The reason the charges were dropped is because Kelly is already convicted in two separate federal cases. He was sentenced to 30 years in New York, and he'll be sentenced next month here in Chicago and faces anywhere from 10 to 90 years in that case. Since he is facing so much time in prison, Fox said that really factored into her decision not to move forward with the cases. Now, the four cases brought by Kim Fox's office here in Cook County accuse Kelly of sexual abuse or assault, and those charges were filed back in February of 2019. The announcement came following a renewed interest in the case after the airing of the Lifetime docuseries Surviving R. Kelly. In New York, Kelly was convicted of federal racketeering and sex trafficking charges. The federal case here in Chicago stems from accusations that involve sexual misconduct with minors and child pornography but now Fox says she won't go forward with that, those cases here in Cook County, citing the limited resources of her office and the other sexual assault cases that deserve their attention. Fox says she understands that her decision may leave some victims disappointed. For those who did not have an opportunity to put their hand on the Bible or who have felt for the last 20 years that their pain was not recognized, Certainly, this is a disappointing day for them. Now, it's very obvious the things that R. Kelly spoke on that was ignored by mainstream media, as certain stories were given more spotlight than others. The major emphasis is there's real women out here missing, and regardless of how people feel it's connected to R. Kelly or the people that surrounded him, it doesn't change the fact that we watched ample investigations allegedly uncover certain information that never mentioned certain people such as Mia. Now, some of us have heard this name before because we've been on some of these YouTube platforms that claim to be here advocating for these R. Kelly victims. However, they didn't give everybody the same attention that they gave others as they built these platforms in order to make Robert Kelly, in my opinion, appear guilty and miss the obvious red flags I pointed out from using platforms such as MySpace and Facebook to solicit these girls. But does that change the fact these people acting on their own accord should be held accountable? Now, in following this R. Kelly case, you would notice some of these stories that were inconsistent that played out in trial, the media does not want to speak on. Just like when it comes to this girl, Mia, who was reported missing by her mother and then ends up in the grasp of this teen truth. Again, supposed to be here advocating for victims. But what happens when these people who ran to these so-called advocates start to recognize some things that signal red flags, such as people being involved in what she alleges was the grooming of her daughter when she was a minor, only for her to enroll in college and allegedly fall under the influence of questionable people? 
What happens when this same person watches the news and recognizes individuals that allegedly helped with coercing her daughter that have been affiliated with R. Kelly, but does not change the fact that we clearly have not been exposed to this person, Mia, as a victim? So why didn't prosecutors and the government waste so many resources in order to entitle these surviving R. Kelly participants and overlook other stories that didn't make public. Why is not people get to pick which stories make news when as a whole we see so many black women coming up missing and clearly Robert Kelly being in jail, being allegedly broke, has nothing to do with considering this young lady Mia is still missing and no one can provide this mother any answers after all of these so-called investigations, immunity deals, and other side deals to these janky ass individuals we've seen monopolizing these platforms for years, now trying to ban content that exposes all of the corruption within the case that I've challenged from day one. Now I've dropped some more receipts in my Patreon for those interested in this story. As we see, the media didn't cover it. The people claiming to help this lady find her daughter were more entertained by their obsession bringing R. Kelly down that they don't realize, as I have pointed out. Some of these people around R. Kelly did things on their own accord, but that doesn't mean that R. Kelly should be sitting in jail while all of these other individuals are yet to be held accountable. Now, just my opinion, it should be blatantly obvious why they don't want certain stories to hit mainstream or the general public, considering some people have been connected to these stories that would have given you the same red flags I pointed out once I recognized certain witnesses from the OA trial claiming to be advocating for this man plotting on power of attorney and all of this janky shit hindering this man's due process being plastered over these platforms as they try to censor information that I provide and let you go research considering these people came out telling you they're cooperating and helping the government then turn around and do all this stuff to implicate Robert Kelly and nobody turns back around and say well hmm if all of these accusations are true these people were giving the platform by these networks and the general public is so triggered by these stories that nobody stops, pauses, and recognizes. Well, if R. Kelly is holding these hostages still to this day, has been incarcerated all these years, all these recognizable faces keep coming on these platforms triggering other stories, it should be no brainer why I said the government was supposed to prove all of their accusations instead of passing out immunity deals like hotcakes. But that's going to be another topic of discussion when people start to really conversate on what this R. Kelly appeal means for some of these janky ass people who were so anxious to get on these platforms with bullshit. My mother saying, oh, there's a lot of rumors going around. I need you to call me every single day. I need to hear your voice every day. I need you to check in with me every day. I said, first of all, I haven't been doing that for these first couple years. So now that I'm an adult, I'm definitely not about to check in with you every day. And that's what started it all. Because so of her what, pride and my pride. So what does that have to do with me? You're attached to her. That's, that's your wife. That's so, your wife. So I became the enemy. But you're the few because when I would talk mother. to you, you would be young no, too. No, because if you say your beef was with your mother, then you said, oh, I feel like on. it was with both of you guys because, like I said, both you and her, when I would call, it was nothing but arguments. I was never present with you on your no. mother's phone. I was never present with you on your mother's That's why I never knew when you and your mother talked. What I did was found out when your mother told me she talked to you and y'all argued or whatever, and I would call you. And I and you would have that same attitude you and her left with towards me. Yes, I would. Okay, but I didn't have anything to do with that. So therefore, give me a chance to 
pick what side I'm gonna be on, who's right and wrong. You came at me aggressive because of you and her. Uh, this is not, this is not it because I know your wife confines in you and I know she's gonna explain it to you. Exactly. But she's not gonna give me everything, evidently. Cause so, I, as you can see, the that, elephant still needs to be addressed. Which, but, but this the, the, the thing. Which will be addressed. What I'm telling you is don't merge us like I never merged you. See, I could have been one of them parents that just felt victim. <laughs> When I first met Robert, my parents told me to lie about my age. So when I met him, he thought that I was 18. My parents told me to lie about my age to him. Okay? When I met him, they even lied to the police. They told the police that I was 18. They told R. Kelly that I was 18. So here's this man thinking that I am 18. I don't care what's going on. I'm going to promote my small business. Even if I'm not getting any likes, I'm going to be on here promoting my small business. One day this little hustle going to turn into my biggest blessing.